Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about some of my um, lamps from my collection of barricade lamps and I'm going to split this over a couple of videos because I've got so many of them um, I'm going to start with my Dorman lamps so I'm going to start with the oldest first the Dorman Smith Traffy Lamp these will run on one or two of these six volt batteries I've only got the one in there at the moment perfectly bright enough on one uh, it's got the lens rotates 360 this is awkward doing it one hand but yeah you can see it rotates 360 um, these specific lights if I recall came out in the 1970s and I believe they were the first transistorized electric lamps here in the UK. Uh, as far as I know, anyway. Um, I'm just trying to read this, it's not very clear. These were based... No, not based. These were made under license from R, R. E. Dietz Co. USA. So if they look like a Dietz lamp, that's probably because they basically are just badged with the Dorman Smith Traffy Lamp name. So uh, it's got the securing bolt on the back here to lock the battery compartment and to bolt it to scaffolding. And uh, back then they had like a metal tripod that you could bolt these to, which is something I am trying to find but it seems to be quite a rare accessory to get hold of Dorman, Dorman and Smith Limited Preston England this one's um it's a bit tatty but considering its age and it's probably been used on the roads quite a lot I'm not surprised the remains of a sticker there but um it's one of my favourites and I've got two of these and I have seen one on eBay which the seller is trying to sell for a hundred pounds I didn't even pay that for four of these nowhere near I can't I think I got about five pounds for the two that I sold so um, I think he's a bit of a dreamer at a hundred pounds anyway I'm gonna move on Here we have two Dorman Traffy Lights and these have been specifically made for British Rail. There's the um, British Rail logo and um, these have got CDAC written on both but I'm not sure what that stands for. I can't find any info on that at all. Um, but basically these are double sided lenses. We have red on one side if I turn it around so they both face the same way we've got amber they're a little bit dim because the batteries aren't very good but what you do with these you just put the batteries in the one labelled top lamp that's the only one with a switch as well uh, so this one no batteries just got to put some light on there we go Let's see what we're doing now uh, da 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 Yes, yeah, so you've got one labelled top lamp, one labelled bottom lamp. I'm not sure if they would have bolted, you know, in a stacked formation like that. Or on their sides like that, I don't know. But um, the info I found on these is um, they were used to mark the beginning and the end of um, track works. You know, the work zones when they're working on the railway line don't know if that's true but that's just what I've found I've actually noticed with this one I've got like a little LED flashing in here as well I'm not sure what that is actually for but, um, they connect with this cable which looks to be a water resistant cable and they just, uh, I'll just put you down there for a moment they just unscrew this and pop them apart. And they've uh, 
just got those four pins in there. There is four in there. The plugs will only go together one way. But um, I'm guessing these were specifically made for rail, for the British Rail, you know. Customer specification with the red lenses and whatnot. See how much brighter it is on um, when it's just running the one lamp. And uh, I did actually forget to mention, where did I put it? Here it is. I do have some of the proper doorman keys. For this one, I'm going to just poke it in here. If I can find the switch, it's in there somewhere. I can't find it. Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> there we go, I found it. So, that's these two. I got these two on eBay, which is where I got 99% of mine from. Um, and I got them as three. There was an odd one with it, which I gave to my stepdad. Because he's uh, very into his railways and whatnot. So, um, I think that's it for these. Isn't it? told you what I know about these. I don't know if... Well, they're obviously used by the railway company because there's the logo. So, um, I'm going to move on. Two more Traffy Lamp E's. And these are different. As you can see, that one's got flash mode. <coughs> Quite a worn body on it, though. <laughs> it's definitely um, been in the walls. Poor thing, it's got something sort of etched on there, probably a um, the original company's name that owned it. But uh, the difference between these two is, well, this one is a steady burn, but it's got a photo cell. Whee! <laughs> uh... I think they do a flash version with the photo cell, so I wouldn't mind trying to get hold of that. And I know they do a steady burn without the photo cell, so I want to get hold of one of those as well. Other than that, you know, they're identical in every other way. They've got the little thing on the top of the lens there to hook a wire through or a metal hook or something. And for some reason, this has got a manky old piece of string around there. I've forgotten about. But, uh, yeah, anyway. That's these two. I'm going to move on to the next one. Here we have another version of the Traffy Light. This one's got steady burn, but it's actually got just a mono-directional lens. There's no... It's just a blank plate on this side. And, uh... It's also got just these little round cir circular reflective stickers on either side. The switch mechanism is the same as the previous one. Just slide switch. It's quite bright. Not sure where these would have been used. If I was to guess, I would say on the motorways. Because... On a motorway, as traffic is only flowing in one direction, you really only need a mono-direction light like this one. So maybe this isn't, you know, maybe this was made for a motorways agency with the mono lens. Not sure. If anyone knows, feel free to let me know. But, um... Apparently they're common, but uh, I haven't seen many around personally, but they're actually pretty damn bright. I suppose with that mono-directional lens, that blank bit of plastic cover on the back just focuses all the light in one direction. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the next one. 
this is one of my favourites the Dorman Highlight basically it's the same as the Traffy Light but these are a lot brighter and they will only run on two 6 volt batteries they won't run on one like the standard versions of this the traffic lamp versions um, and these were primarily used by the police force and other emergency services to mark incidents and whatnot on the road and this one does actually have a carry handle on the top there and for some reason I actually thought this flashed but it doesn't <laughs> steady burn but yeah it's body wise it's identical to the traffic lamp um, traffic light not the traffic lamp yeah not a lot else to say about that <laughs> it's got the reflective Dorman highlight sticker there it's got something in permanent marker on there DK53 whatever that is rubberized push button switch that's the other difference so um they can actually deploy it a bit quicker which when you're on at an emergency you need So that's the highlight. So I'm going to pick another one. I've got quite a few of these, so it may turn into quite a long video. Here we have another version of the Traffy Light. <coughs> this was used by the British Fire Service. I'm not sure exactly which service I'm pretty certain it wasn't Norfolk Fire Service um, but this is another customer specific lamp identical as any other traffic lamp traffic light rather it's just got a blue lens on this side if I spin around it's got an amber lens on that side and uh, that's the only difference and the usual uh, hidden switch or um, what, what do they call them? tamper proof switch, that's the one there is no stickers on this one either I don't know if someone has peeled the stickers off or maybe the customer didn't want the doorman stickers on it it's got the um, traffic light name up the top there hmm so let's move on okay I've got this one opened up for a reason <laughs> but this was made allegedly according to a number of sellers on eBay that were selling these at the time they were made for British Telecom hence the BT stamped there um, you know customer specific request but apparently British Telecom pulled out of the contract and left Dorman with bundles and bundles of these lamps <laughs> and you can see it's got the traffic light lens on it but the body is totally different the batteries if I just grab one it'll run on one or two it doesn't matter but you just pop in your battery like so yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to just put you down there for a moment because it is a bit awkward to do it one handed so change that, it's a bit awkward full stop long stem there that just, literally just drops on and clips into place like that 
push button switch and there we go I don't actually know what this is actually called it's just got dormant on it and 1998 written on it unless that's just the um, British standard um, date of the British standard this was made to I don't know but this is probably around that time anyway but like I said um, the story goes with a lot of eBay sellers uh, BT ordered these customer specific lamps no idea why they're designed like this they do sit better on the road so I don't know if that's what they were designed for um, but there is a mechanism there to put a bolt through so it can be bolted to something rotatable lens as always we've got the built in I forgot to mention this on the other ones but it's probably obvious anyway they've got the built in reflect around the edge um, yeah it's another one of my um, probably one of my favourites because it is an odd one and uh, it is a brand new one this has never been used obviously it's a bit dusty where it's been on my shelf <laughs> Right, so I've got three more, so we're getting there. Here we have two of my Traffy Lamp E's from Dorman. Uh, they uh, are made with a nice hard metal steel body. And uh, these two have got another trick. If I turn the lights off, <laughs> they have photo cells in them. Um, there is a steady burn version of these, and I am willing to trade one of these. I've got three and well I've got four the other one is um, has been hand painted um, by the person I bought it off of not a bad job but the yellow's not an exact match but all of these have the um, photo cell in so and I would like either one that doesn't have the photo cell or a steady burn. I'd prefer a steady burn one. Um, and I don't know if they did a steady burn version with the photo cell. Uh, I just know there were several versions of these, so I would like a different one. So if anyone's willing to trade, I'll trade. I've got three of them. <laughs> that one's got the Batchley, um provide a name on supplier name that one's got the Greenham supplier name on it is that one just Dorman? that one's just Dorman yeah I don't know why but these are one of my favourites probably because they are metal body the only disadvantage is the paint flakes quite easily especially as they get old this one's probably the one that I've got in the best condition. So, uh, yeah, that's one I wouldn't trade. It would be probably that one, as that's in the second best condition. All the hand paint. Why is that one sitting so on the skewiff? Can you see that? <laughs> is it the battery causing that, or. Hmm. Right. I'm going to move on. I think these... I'm just trying to refresh my memory. I believe these were first invented in the 70s, along with the Traffy Lamp. 70s or 80s, I can't remember. So they've been around quite a while. 
Uh, I don't even think doormen still manufacture lamps like this anymore. I think they've stopped with the um, barricade lamps. I think. If anyone knows any different, let me know, please. But uh, I'm uh, going to move on to the next one. Here's one of my favourites, and it took me quite a few years to find one. It's the Dorman Traffy Light 360. And uh, I'll just flick me lights off. It's also got a photo cell in it. Um, these are quite rare. These were made back in the 1990s um, for British Gas. Well, I'm not sure if they were made for British Gas or their contractor at the time, Transco, but they were made for them anyway, and they were the only company that over here that had the um, 360 lens put on top. So it was another customer-specified lamp, which is, um, I actually like it. And it is one of my favourite lamps. Again, it's got the uh, tamper-proof switch on it. You just uh, put your key in and slide it. Securing bolt, but there's no method to um, hang this one. But I suppose um, Transco didn't need it because they bolted all of their lights to the um, barricade posts. Which I keep trying to find as well. They used what was called a defiance barrier system. And I've got a couple of defiance planks. I just don't have the legs. So I'm looking <laughs> for the sort of a barrier this company would have used as well. Which is also becoming quite bloody hard to get hold of. Anyway, I'm going to move on to another unusual lab. Here we have the Dorman Ecolite with the 360 lens, probably from around early 2000s, early to mid 2000s ish. Um, I can't demonstrate this one working because it has developed a fault and doesn't want to work. The um, bulb flashes, but it's so dim you can't see it unless you've got your eyeball right up next to it. And I'm using the same batteries I've used throughout this video, so those batteries are good. I know they are. So, that's an issue with this one that I'll, I might see if I can fix one day. Probably some high resistance somewhere. Perhaps a component has failed. I, uh... I'm actually just going to try something. turning the camera off this time and start another one. I'm going to chuck that down now and we'll move on to the Unimap. Which I like better than the um, Ecolite. It's got this clip up or fold away handle on it so you can carry it and sit it on top of traffic cones, hang it on places. Lens just um, twists. Some of them actually tell you which way to put your battery, like this one do. It's got plus VE at the bottom there, so I've got to line the battery up like that. One's got to go there. Working. Oh, 
it's got a photo seller that looks like one of There we go. To me, that's definitely got one of the better lenses for these 360 lights that were all the rage at one point. Probably because they give, you know, all round visibility, so it doesn't matter where you use them. You don't have to angle the bloody lens. You can just pop these up on your purse. It's got a bolt on the bottom here, bolt hole. A little nut, I should say, to put a bolt in so you can bolt it to a barricade post or whatever. Your scaffolding. The only thing I don't like about this design is it's very easy to steal the batteries. And it's easy to steal the lights as well if you just got them sitting on the traffic cone. That's the only disadvantage with that. That's, but, uh, you know, that's not a problem. Well, I suppose it is a bit of a problem, but... Sometimes these batteries aren't cheap, depending on where you go. So I'm just going to set them back there for a moment. So I've got one more. Which is my least favourite of the Dorman lamps and it's the cone light. Now I do have the synchro guide version of this which has got a little black sensor at the top there and on the back it'll have two black dots so they synchronize up with other Dorman lamps. Um, this is the only Dorman lamp I've got which is LED and I'm going to show you how the battery is um, installed on this. It's got this handle which you can also, when it's not in use, you can set it on the cone that way up. But it's that part of the lamp that goes into the cone. To install the battery is easy, just get a hold of the tab there and pull it open. Push it through. So it's all open up like that put your battery in, close it back up, like that, are we working? I think this has got a photo cell in it as well, yes it has, um, and the idea with these was for um, motorway use for quick deployment, so um, I don't know if anyone has actually seen it, but their lorry drives down the motorway and they grab a cone, they grab one of these lights, chuck the light on the cone, chuck the cone on the road while they're still standing on the lorry for safety. So, uh, and once they go on the cone, there's a little switch just there, and as it slides on the cone, it hits that switch and presses this down. So if I just put my finger in here like this, there we go, it's on. Getting a bit picky because of the light, hang on, let's turn those off. There we go. That's me flashing it, by the way, not the light. The Synchro Guide ones, um stay they're sort of weird to describe they're steady like that but they flash brightly at the same time if that makes sense but um it's just the design of these that just isn't my favorite to be honest it's the same with the nissan version i'm not keen on that one either but um they are pretty damn good because when you're putting things like this down on the motorway, you don't want to be hanging around for too long. Because of, you know, idiot drivers driving too close or too fast past you. So, uh, that's what they were designed for. There's loads of these about. Absolutely loads. In fact, I see these at a lot of uh, non-motorway roadworks as well now. Which is weird, because they're not a cheap lamp to buy brand new. And they're so easy to steal. They're less likely to get stolen on a motorway, but when you use them in a town like where I live, 
all it's going to take is a drunken low on a Friday night walking past and go, ooh, nice light. <laughs> and it's gone, along with the battery. Uh, anyway, that is my Dorman collection. Uh, I will do another video with the JSP lamps next, I think. Which would be a shorter video because I don't have as many of those to go through. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.